Chef Buck here, and today we're going to cut up some mame sapote. How exciting is that? This is a tropical fruit. It's native to South America. They grow in South America, Central America, and even South Florida. But I don't remember seeing them in Florida. But at half the markets we go to here in Mexico, we see these. Now, I bought this one here a few days ago, and it was hard as a rock. But it's been a few days, and now, as you can see, when you press it, it has a little bit of give. So hopefully this will be nice and ripe and tasty. Now I just bought this one today. Doesn't have any give at all. If I was to throw this at your head and catch you really good, you know, you might have to go to the hospital. And I throw like a girl. And when you buy it, you want to make sure it has, has this little nubbin on here. Because it grows on a tree and they cut it off and they, you want to leave a little bit on here. It's like an avocado. You know, it's got an inedible skin and a pit in the center that you can't eat. But if this is gone, then the moisture can escape, other things can get in there, bacteria and whatnot. So buy it with this little nubbin on there. But let's go ahead and cut this open, see what it looks like inside. Like I said, it's just like an avocado. So we're just gonna cut it all around the pit. Boom, boom, boom. And it opens right up. Look at that, and there's more than one pit in here. Ooh, which can lucky. happen. Uh, the one we had before only had one pit. But this one has four. So this is uh, the pits. <laughs> because uh, that means there's less fruit in here for us to eat. Did you see how creamy this is? Look at that. Good lord, buddy. This is sweeter than the one we had the other day. Awesome. Which was very creamy too. And it was more potatoey. You just start you just start spooning this stuff out and eating it. And it goes fast, man. Don't forget your help. What do you think, Gamero? Uh, it's just great. I, I don't think I've ever seen one of these in Florida. Do you remember seeing one of these? No, but we haven't been back to South Florida in a while. Yeah, 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 but they would have to sell them someplace other than South Florida. Can't believe these dang pits. That's a lot of pits in there. They they look like um, what a, they look like mussels, mm -hmm. you know, or conkers. Remember conkers, like chestnuts. I don't know if you remember that. When I was a kid, we'd take chestnuts and we would nail a hole through here, drill a hole through it, and put a string in it, and then play conkers, where you would swing it and try to break the other person's conker. Oh, and then you won it if you broke it. Or yeah, what? yeah, 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 yeah. All right, camera girl, you really wiped that half out. <laughs> now this here, you see there's, there's these little uh, straggly strings that were kind of like membranes around the pit. Oh, I bet it's extra sweet, is it? Mm -mm. It's kind of stringy. I don't like the consistency of it. I thought it might be bitter, but it's not really bitter either. But I wouldn't eat that. Oh. But you don't want to eat the skin because the skin is very bitter, and you don't want to eat the uh, seeds either at all. So. The skin and the seeds, you know, you don't want to fool with those. Let me wash my hands here. Let me get this little membrane of stuff out of here. Boom, boom, boom. Mm, it's creamy. Yeah, we can just eat this up super duper fast. Obviously. All right, we went out and bought some more mame because I'm hoping that I'll cut one open that isn't full of pits. But this is a couple of different varieties. These are the two that we've been finding in the markets. And the wet spot is literally because we just had to... Yeah, because we're in Mexico, uh, we got to give all our, uh, all our fruits and veggies a rinse and wash them off. So we just finished doing that. Boom, boom, boom. So we'll cut around here. Boom. One pit. But now this is a dinky do. Yeah, but it looks like... Ooh, Mama. It's going to be good. Let's see. They're like little dessert cups. It's not crazy sweet though. It's not like your, it has a very pudding -y consistency, but it's not like sweet pudding. Has anybody bought this in the United States? Or grown it. it and tried it? Well, like I said, I read that people grow it in Florida. Do you have one of these in your yard? How much did we pay for this, Gamer Girl? I'll see if I can find the receipt and put yeah. what we paid for here. If you, if you find this in the United States, how much did you pay for it? When we go back to Florida, we will take a look around. I'll try to see if I can, if I can find one of these in Florida, because I like it. Once you empty it out, then you can use it for a garbage can. <laughs> you know, put the pieces you don't want to eat in there. 
So people put this in sorbets and jams and in pastries and yeah, I think people uh, use it to make smoothies. Yeah, you can make a pie out of this. And in Guanajuato, Mexico, you know, when we get tired of eating cookies, it isn't hard to find mame flavored ice cream. It's just tasty and it's creamy and it's satisfying. Well, it sure went down fast. <laughs> Now the one we had the other day was a little bit larger than this. This is about softball size, but uh, they come in different shapes and sizes. There's different varieties, uh, different colors inside when they're ripe, but they're all, uh, from what I understand, kind of orangish to reddish in color. You know, some of them are more like football yeah, shaped. Yeah. Well, we would devoured that one pretty quick, but we'll go ahead and cut through this one here so we can show you what an inedible mame <laughs> looks like because you don't want to uh, cut into it when it's hard like this here. But uh, we'll take a look inside so you can see. So we'll get rid of our mame detritus. I almost would rather wait a couple of two or three days and then eat this. Yeah. But we'll slice it inside so you can see. Well, that's your first indication <laughs> that you shouldn't right. cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a lot harder to cut into. Yeah, which means, nope, don't do it. But if you, if you get one, and it is hard like that. Look at that. I actually cut through a part of the seed, I think. If this was a candle, this would be fantastic. <laughs> but you see, this is not creamy at all. It's very woody. It's exactly, it's almost like, a, it makes me think of yucca. You know, like uncooked yucca. But you don't want to eat this here. I'll put a piece in my mouth and then I'm going to spit it out. Because it's bitter. <laughs> it has a bitter taste to it. When you go to eat it, if your spoon don't go in there, then don't eat it. It just smells terrific though. If you go like to Bed Bath and Beyond in the in the candle section and they and they have one that says Mame Sapote, you know I would snatch that candle up. That's Mame Sapote. Pick one up, give it a try. It's really good. Go over to myfoodchannel.com. You can find out uh, more information about Mame. I have a link down below. You can check out all our recipes over there. If you want to follow our Mexico travels, I have a link to our travel channel down there too. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the future. Bye bye.